If you're an APA member, you should have recently received a petition ballot like this in the mail. The proposed resolution inside concludes this way. Be it resolved that psychologists may not work in settings where persons are held outside of or in violation of either international law or the U.S. Constitution, unless they are working directly for the persons being detained or for an independent third party working to protect human rights. Psychologists for Social Responsibility strongly encourages you to vote yes, I approve, and to return your ballot before the September 15th deadline. This brief video explains why. I'm Roy Idelson, an APA member, and I approve this resolution. Why is this resolution urgently needed? Because, as former Navy General Counsel Alberto Mora has testified, the Constitution recognizes that man has an inherent right, not bestowed by the state or laws, to personal dignity, including the right to be free of cruelty. It applies to all human beings, not just in America, even those designated as unlawful enemy combatants. If you make this exception, the whole Constitution crumbles. And, as retired Major General Antonio Taguba has stated, the Geneva Conventions and the Uniform Code of Military Justice were disregarded, the UN Convention Against Torture was indiscriminately ignored, and the healing professions, including the physicians and psychologists, became complicit in the willful infliction of harm. I'm Jancis Long, an APA member, and I most certainly approve this resolution. Our first ethical principle as psychologists is to do no harm. Sadly, we know from multiple sources that psychologists have designed and participated in interrogations equivalent to torture at Guantanamo, in Afghanistan, and Iraq, and at secret CIA black sites. Psychologists should never use their professional training to break down the human psyche. I'm Jill Flores, an APA member, and I approve this resolution. In spite of APA's stated opposition to torture, allowing psychologists to work within the chain of command at such sites confers legitimacy on these settings. The long-term detainment of people without rights is itself a violation of the UN Convention Against Torture and counts as a form of cruel, inhumane treatment that must not be endorsed in any way. I'm Jean Maria Arrigo, an APA member, and I approve this resolution. Unfortunately, many abuses at Guantanamo and at the CIA's secret black sites have occurred under the direction of psychologists and have specifically involved psychological methods of abuse. Indeed, there is no documented case of a psychologist refusing a commander's order or encouragement to participate in abuse. Psychologists know that good people do bad things in bad situations. We're not immune to the chain of command pressures of abusive environments. I'm Stephen Solds, an APA member, and I approve this resolution. This resolution still permits psychologists to work directly for the detainees in much the same way that attorneys can provide client services on a pro bono basis at these sites. They can also work for human rights organizations, like the International Committee of the Red Cross, but psychologists must be removed from the chain of command so that they can work exclusively for the best interests and human rights of their clients. Please note that this resolution does not apply to psychologists working in other settings, such as U.S. prisons, or juvenile halls, and it will not affect the important work of military psychologists engaged in settings and activities that uphold human rights. I'm Judy Iwins, an APA member, and I approve this resolution.
To be clear, this referendum is focused on settings such as Guantanamo Bay and the CIA black sites set up by the U.S. as part of its global war on terror. Settings where the persons being detained are either denied the protections of either constitutional or international law, settings which have been denounced by the United Nations, the Council of Europe, and the International Committee of the Red Cross. Please vote I approve and return your ballot to the APA. If you have questions, we've set up an email address for this purpose, ntorture at csr.org. You can contact us there. And please share this video with your APA colleagues. Thank you for your time during this important moment in APA's proud history. I'm Tony Marcella, an APA member, and I approve this resolution.